Okay, yeah. So um, if you remember, I gave you this exercise. Has anyone finished it? Anyone want to like uh, show the share the screen? Anyone have any doubts on it? Because we didn't exactly get to finish it at the end of last class. Actually, yeah. I have done. Mm -hmm. I have done, and I'm not getting any problem. But I can't share the screen. Okay, sure. Some free. Yeah. Um, for me, it's saying that I have a mistake in indentation or something. Okay, yeah, share your screen. Uh, sir, you yeah. started, I mean, you sent us the, the link on chat, sir. Did, should we see um, it? What I did, I, I run the module. Mm -hmm. And My, okay, yeah. so if you remember, I also went over some indentation. Um, yes. Yeah, so do you see how your LF statements are all on the very left side of your screen, right? Yes. Okay, so now there's a small gap in your fourth LF statement. So remove it? Yeah, remove it. Exactly, and your L statement. Um, also yeah. for your L statement, you need a colon after your L's command. Okay. And then bring the print statement to the next line. Uh, sir, yeah. I have a question. I mean, yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you send us the, a video on chat. Should we see it? Um, a video? Oh, no, that's just our YouTube channel. Um, you guys can check it out later if you missed any, uh, okay. if you missed any classes or anything of the sort. Cool. Um, Sasha, is it working? Yeah, I'm trying it now. All right, cool, cool. Um, okay, if no one else has any doubts on it, we could move on to the next topic for today. So a list is basically an ordered collection of data, right? It sounds complicated, but it's really not. <laughs> um, so you could have a list of certain items, right? So you could have, um, say, a grocery list that has many different items, right? So Python sees how each item is labeled one after another, right? So the way to give a list, the way to name the list is by um, the syntax for it is you give the name, you give the assignment operator, and with square brackets, you have to surround it, right? So now you have a list of items. You separate each item with a comma. Okay, this can be strings or it can be integer values, right? So in this list, I kept a grocery list, right? So in this list, I kept apples, a comma, bread, comma, past pasta sauce, comma, chips, yeah, etc. Okay, so this data is actually ordered. So if I were to ask you what number would bread come, you'd say two, one, two, right? So the fact that this is ordered allows you to take certain values off of this list, right? So I can say I want this one, chips, right? One, two, three, four. I want the fourth value in this list, okay? Is list clear for everybody? Basically just some values, okay? Make sense? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So the way Python, we can actually count one, two, three, four for chips. But the way Python sees it, Python starts counting from zero. So it counts zero, one, two, three. So chips would actually be the third value for Python. So we would count it as numbers, one, two, three, four, but Python uses index numbers. So this value of apples index is zero, one, two, three. Can you guys see my screen, right? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so then zero, one, two, three, four, right? So here's an example on how to call the value of a list, right? So say I have grocery list, and I'm giving the computer the value of two, the index value of two. Now, which value would that give me over here? Anyone have, anyone want to give an answer? Pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. Zero, one, two, exactly, right? That's good. Um, so yeah, indexing starts from zero. Now you can also count backwards from the back of an index, right? So for use, doing that, you can use negative value. So what would negative one give us? Um, maybe uh, chips. 
No, it would actually or be rice. rice. Yeah, exactly. Rice. Okay. Does that make um, sense? Won't they go like zero minus one minus two or something? Yeah, so apples is already zero. Now there's zero and negative zero are the same, right? Yeah. So that's why this is zero. This would be one. This would be zero. And going backwards would be negative one, which would be rice at the end of the list. Okay. Okay. okay? Make sense? Right. Yeah. So you can, the process of calling a certain item from this list is known as indexing. Okay, so we're indexing this list. We're calling the second value of this list, or in our case, it'd be process also the third, actually third value, right? So let me give you some examples. I'll just, I'll show you how this can be practically used. Okay, so let's say we have party items. Okay, we wanna keep track of all of the items or all of the food items that we want for a party. Okay, so you put, as if it's a normal variable, you give party items. And then you guys can see my uh, ID over here, right? You guys can see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes, cool. it's worse than that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, yeah, great. So, um, yeah, now we have the party items. As if it's a normal variable, you want to put the name of the variable, you want to put the assignment operator, and now we can put our list. Now, what do we want in this party item, in these party items? Say, like, we want chips. Um, say, we want pizza. Okay, and then, I don't know, uh, maybe like some sandwiches or something. Okay, so we basically are putting the value, and remember, because it's a string, we're always gonna surround it by quotation marks. Okay? Cool. Okay. So now we put three, maybe these are the food items. Maybe you can put some drinks. Like, uh, yeah, that could work too. Cool. Uh, I'll just add a few, that way we, I can give you a actual example. And then I'll give you apples. Cake or okay. something. So um, can anyone tell me, I want to print the value of soda. What would I have to run? Party items. Okay. Is it four? Four. Four. Yeah, four. Or let me check it out. I think you put an extra gap after the noodles for the soda. After the yeah. noodles. Oh, okay, that's okay. That doesn't make a difference. Uh, for Python, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, so say soda. What did you guys say? Four. Four. Zero, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Four. Okay, now if we run this, soda, good job. Okay, now say we want to call um, apple juice from the back. What would you do? Uh, minus, minus one. one. Six, six. Nice, good job. Now if you run this, apple juice. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so is our list clear for everybody? Uh, so yes. I, have a, I mean, I have a question. Uh -huh. How's apple? How can, can apple juice be six? I mean, since um, it can, yeah, but a lot of the times you have a really large amount of list values, right? So sometimes you want to call it from the back. But yeah, six could work too. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. That could work too. Okay. Right. Okay. So anything could work, but sometimes it's more practical, right? Because now we have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, or else you can right. just count negative one, right? Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, okay. For now, that's good. Um, next, we're going to go over some possible functions with the list. Okay? So sometimes, say, um, I want to add another drink, right? Say... 
I want to add pineapple juice. Okay. Now what I can do is instead of going in here, I could do dot append. Okay. You basically put your list name dot append. Okay. Append basically means add it to the end of the list. Okay. Okay. Now you can put circular brackets in your quotation marks. You can put pineapple juice. Okay. So now. Should we type where do we want to locate it or the name? Um, just the name, just the name of what you want to put. Okay. Okay. Um, now if yeah. we print out party items. Okay, and we run this. We get Yeah, we get pineapple juice because it got appended to the end of this list. Okay? okay. So that's that makes sense. Yep. Okay, so now there's another function that we can use with the list name. Um, okay, so we could use another function called remove. Okay, party items dot remove. Okay, say I do not like, um, I don't want to get orange juice anymore to my party. Okay, so you can use orange juice. Okay, party items, you put the list, the name of your list, dot remove orange juice. That means it's gone. It's gone, right? So now if you look at the list, we got orange rid of juice. orange juice and we added pineapple. Juice. Exactly, right? Make sense? Yeah. Cool. Okay, now let me show you the next one we could use. We could use the dot sort. Okay, dot sort, what that allows you to do, okay, say party items dot sort. Okay, so this dot basically allows you to call functions using under this list, right? So we put the list name dot and then we can put the function, right, that we want to do dot sort okay. okay now dot sort it'll automatically alphabetically arrange all of these values okay so right now apple juice is at the end right um orange juice is also near the end now if we do party items dot sort look at the order it gives a c and p right so basically can you only sort it at alphabetical wise or do you uh, can you sort it in other ways you can, as well you can you yeah, can also like, sort it like the way you want maybe like and the other foods yeah you could you could do it like that too that's a little bit more complicated i can get into that in the future classes but that's possible as possible um python's like a really flexible okay. language, right so if you okay. maybe if you were to put numbers instead it could arrange it in the Ascending order or descending order. You could choose. There are a lot of different ways you could do that. Uh, but I'll okay. get to them. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? So, as you previously said, if you put one and minus one, you've told all of that. But can you put it while running the module and will it come? Um, what do you mean? Like, just over here, you want to put... No, uh, like once you run the module, can you like type something like how you did with the previous one? Previous okay. activity? I see what you're talking about. So you wanna, uh, let me get rid of this one. So you wanna run this. So you're saying from here you wanna call one of these Like values. put one, two, three, or four. Okay, so that's actually not very practical. Um, because usually all your code will be in here and you want to automate it as much as possible, right? But this might actually also work. Say we want to call sandwiches. Right? It works. Cool. This is your question, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then you could also put like negative two. Can you ju just put two? Like instead of bringing party items and brackets? No, that, that won't work. 
then it'll just print its own thing, right? It'll output whatever it wants, right? But um, yeah, you're gonna have to put party items in the square brackets you have to put the index value, right? That's the only way it'll work. Okay? Okay, let's move to the next one where we do party items dot clear. Okay, clear basically empties the entire list, right? So we did all of these functions on it and then we named it, we added all these values. Now, if we run it, it'll give us nothing because we use the clear value. Okay, the clear function. Fine, makes sense. Okay, so as a quick exercise, can everybody make a list of five school items? Okay. School items. Yeah, what you're gonna back to school items, what you're gonna take to school. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll give you like two minutes, three minutes. If you have any questions, you can ask me. I, okay. I cannot yeah. show my screen. Uh, let me, is it working for you? Yeah. Try it out again. Yes, I can share. Okay, can you do it? So I made the list. Do I like put like, should I put all the append, the clear, all those things? Can you uh, see no, my don't screen? Do uh, okay, I can see it. Yeah. So actually, okay, so that, that makes sense. Um, what the syntax is, you actually put school items is equal to the list. Okay, so equal to. Right, yeah, and then um, now you're list. I've, I've also done made my, making my list. Great, you can show me after. Um, now your list, you have to put in square brackets, not circular brackets. Okay, one second. Is the, you mean this? Yeah, like that, like that. Okay. Okay. Now print school items. Make sure it works. Okay. Should I keep a space bar? No, you don't keep a space bar. Print. Oh, uh, you need to put the circular brackets. Okay. And then should I put that dash? Underscore. Those? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. School items. Okay. Close it. Uh, run it. One second. Okay, good job. Okay. So it's working. Now, Ditya, your next task, I want you to use the append operation and I want you to add, um, say, textbook. Okay? Textbook. Okay. Try that. I'm going to look at Ashwin's screen. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Right? You said you got it, right, Ashwin? Uh, sir, I've, I've uh, it was actually me. Oh, it's you. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, you do it. My bad. Can you share your screen? Yeah, just a second. Sorry, I, th I thought I was next. Oh, did he? Okay, don't worry. Let Arthur do it first, and then we'll quickly go to yours. Okay, that looks good for now. Um, okay, you also, um, Arthur, I want you to add a new item of textbooks as well. And I want you to remove bag, okay? okay. Um, should that. I do it? Uh, school uh, dash items dot append. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay. That looks yeah. good. Um, Arthur, you do this, and then I'll come back to you. Ashwin, can I see your screen? Can you see? Uh, yeah, I can see it. Get this. Okay, great, nice. Okay, so yeah, uh, run it. Yeah. Perfect, it's working. Great. Um, okay, yeah, you also try adding textbooks and remove pen. Okay? Okay. Try it out. I'll give you guys two minutes and then our class should come to an end. 
Uh, sir, uh, can, yeah. I, then my, can, I be, can I please show it? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think it's a problem, I think. Um, can you share your screen, Arjun? I think there's a problem. I think I might be able to send the file. Okay, great. Um, I can, I'll type in my email address at the bottom. Uh, can you just send it to that account? And then I'll look at it. Yes, because I've seen it in a file. I'll send it to you. Okay, great. Or actually, you do the same thing. Try to um, append a new item at textbooks and remove, say, like, pen if it's on your list. Okay? For me, it's not working. It's not working. Can you share your screen? For me, I'm not able to append. Okay, I'll show you. Um, Sasha, can you share your screen first? Then? Okay. So over here, one minute. See, when I tried this, it didn't work. Oh, um, school I No, that's not gonna work. Um, what you have to do is school items. It's not actually a string. School items is a variable name. So you never put quotation marks around a variable name, okay? Okay. And now for your index value, one, right? That's what you wanna do. You always have to surround it with square brackets. So like, one minute. Mm -hmm. Nice. Like Perfect. this? Now try it. Yeah, now it works. Thank you. It works? Great. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've, so, I've done the um, things like you told me to append yeah, and remove. And okay. That. Great. Oh, you, can, you can't share your screen, right? What? Can you share your screen? Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Great. Now I'll run it. So this is you're actually getting an error, right? So the way to append is remember you have to put your list name. There's no equal sign. Okay, remove the equal sign. Okay. Okay. Um, what you have to do is you have to use a dot after your school items. Put a period, a dot. Okay, and then remove that space between the dot and the append. Just a second. Should I do the same thing for remove, remove? as well? Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, mm. so when you're doing this, you're not actually supposed to surround. I know it's a little bit confusing, but when you're putting the item you want to remove or add, you cannot put it in square brackets because then your um, Python will take it as an index value, which you do not want. You want to put it in the circular brackets. Okay? Okay. Open it to bracket and put Yeah, exactly. Okay, so as a homework, I want you guys. Okay, first of all, um, I'm up. done. I I did that append textbook. Okay, sure, sure. Mm, should I run it now? Yeah, run it. Other. Is it working for you? Yeah. Okay, great. I'll... Okay, so after we go through Ditya's work, it should be the end of the class. Um, the rest of you guys can show me what you did by next class, okay? Aditya, can you share your screen? Yeah, one second. Um, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Great. Um, so... Textbook. Great. Now, can you run it? Um, you actually have to print school items after. 
right? So okay. go back. Yeah, because you added it after you printed it. So that's not good. So I have to. And make actually, can the everyone edit? quickly? Uh, yeah, put it there. Um, okay, Deepya, that should work. Um, sorry. Hey, we don't have that much time. Can everyone quickly put their names in the comment section? Yeah. Where's the comment section? Um, it, there should be like a chat, a chat box. Yeah. Yeah, just write your name in there. Um, is there any homework for today? Yeah, there is. Um, okay, so every you guys do some research on this and then come back to me, make a small program by next class, okay? okay. Right? Anything, just anything. Explore, um, do experiment with Python, okay? Everyone enjoy the class? Yes, bye. Yeah. Right, see you guys. Uh, check out my uh, YouTube channel, subscribe if you want any previous classes, anything that you missed, okay? Great. Okay. Thanks, guys. I guess that's all. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay, see you. Bye.